everyone else is saying and what most people are saying here. But where you went a little bit deeper was that this change is external and that somewhere inside the person, there's still the same person. Yes. That Rachel was born a Caucasian and her, her in her interior, if you want to call it your soul, your spirit, she's a, she is a Caucasian woman. And Bruce, although he's changed himself surgically and chemically, that inside he is still an, a man. That's, so, so that's another aspect that you brought to the table, that whether you do it or not, whether you should be able to do it or not, is debatable, because we're having a discussion about it. How other people see you and other people accept you, or how you feel is debatable, or if you should feel that way, if you should not. But you've brought a new idea that we should think about, the, the inside of the person. And, but that, that remains with the person. You can never know. Um, okay. Okay. Is it? I, to, to, since I'm on your side of this, uh... about uh, the human being itself, himself. Uh, as you can see, I'm an African, and an African because my nose is flat. <laughs> so, the children that I'm gonna have, they're gonna, they're not gonna look like the person I am today. They're gonna look like the person I was before. You know, so even if you change, as you just said, even if you change your appearance, even if you change your sex, you remain yourself inside. People who try to, I mean, to change their sex is uh, a waste of time. Because even they can change the physical aspect, but they can, they can change the way of thinking. I mean, if for Danish, Bruce Jennifer, Mary today is Jenner. 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 Jenner.
So I wanted to be how everyone else should see me. But then later on, I accepted myself. And yeah, but I, I think she wanted to be who she felt she was. I feel like I'm a black woman. When people ask me my race, I say Ivorian. I don't mention the white part in me. So she felt she was black. So she wanted to be black. I felt, I feel as a, as a black woman, I feel like I'm black. So when people ask me what I am, I say black. In the United States, they ask me, what's your race? I have to mark myself as other. And I used to hate that. Marking myself as other, making me seem like I'm from another world. So I would always want to be considered as a black person. Thank you. Do you feel like um, growing up in, the, in an area predominantly white, do you, did you feel more accepted than your brothers and sisters, your relatives sometimes? I wouldn't fit in. With the white crowd, I was too dark for them. And with the black crowd, I was too white for them. So there wasn't really much of a mix. And at the time, there weren't really mixed people. So I didn't fit in with the black people, and I didn't fit in with the white people. But it's later on when society, society made it seem like being light-skinned was a new thing that people started accepting me as a light skin. But before they didn't like the curly hair, they didn't like the mixed. They would, they wouldn't, there wouldn't be a category for where I would fit in. I would fit in as other. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mediterranean area in Europe, from Greece, uh, Italy, southern France. They they tend to be a more olive color. So when there's a little mixture going on there, people could easily think uh, that they are that um, you know, and they see. Caitlin, well, I can't, sorry, Rachel with her black brothers and sisters and think that, um, you know, and probably she started to identify more even when she was not with her family, when she was taken alone. And even here, do you sometimes see, I'm going to ask you guys a question, that people who are fair-skinned, that or the lighter they are, that there's more acceptance? Do you see that here in this Ivorian culture, that, oh, you are a Métis, or you are... You know, how many people see that? Right? You see that? Okay, you wanted to speak next, right? I think so. I think you have a mic. Okay. Uh, military school. And I came to university. My mind was blocked. I was like a stone. I couldn't hear anything else than what I thought. But, and I had a bad idea about Métis people because they are often weird. So the first day I saw Cedric, I had this, uh, yeah, this, this mindset about him. Prejudice. Yes. But I've, we have been friends now for four years. He's one of the best people I've seen on this earth. Yes. Cedric, Cedric won't say that I'm, I am a little bit, because we see them Personally, I see Métis as white people. Cedric won't say I'm, I'm white, so I don't eat um, black people food. No, if Cedric comes to your home, he takes your culture. He's, he's accepted by everyone in the school. It, I, I want you to meet him. <laughs> yes. I think people should be accepted for who they really are. Okay. Yes. So he, sometimes he, you can, even the opposite, was, which is sometimes common, I don't know how to put it, even adulation, saying, oh, oh, you're the light-skinned person, oh, you're so pretty, oh, your hair. Mm -hmm. And sometimes you see that, and that is also as disturbing to someone, to be adulated because, adored, because they are different. Like you, and I think you said that you saw people of mixed race as as white, so yes. different. As a, a believer, I think that uh, it's not good to change, you know, your skin or to change your, you can change your race because yeah. it's good, but uh, but uh, with regard the the change of of, of gender is not good because uh, in the according to the scripture, the scripture, uh, you must. You can change, but externally, externally, you're still the same. Internally. Yeah, internally. internally. Okay. You can change your, 
your body, but your appearance is the same, you know. No, the appearance is external. Yeah, the appearance is external, mm -hmm. excuse me. Mm -hmm. So, uh, so this is this is what I, I would like to say today. Okay. So you're saying that you can, but you say that you can change your race. One should be allowed to change his racial or her racial identity. Your 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 race. Okay. So okay. you're promoting, for example, what some women here or some people refer to the fact that African women tend to, they're, they're not tend to, not at all. <laughs> they're African women, there, are, there is a tendency mm -hmm, among yeah. African and African American women yeah, to yeah. lighten their skin. Yeah, if In you are white, you can be identified as a black if you want. But me, I'm not opposed to, to change the, the, the race, but I'm totally opposed to change the sex because it is forbidden according the scripture okay. you know because i'm a believer <laughs> there are people who, okay we talked here we looked at a, a caucasian woman who wants to be identified uh, as african-american and then you say it's okay so i'm asking you do you also feel that it's okay for african or african-american women who put chemicals on their skin to, be to become lighter and to, to identify more with the Caucasian race. How do you feel about that? But I think that uh, uh, it is because of the discrimination of uh, the, 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 the injustice, you know, they have to do that. They but you, so that. you feel it's okay? I feel I'm not totally okay. 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 <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm really okay. okay. Right. Okay. The, the problem is inside of us, and someone expressed this problem by changing uh, his that skin, 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 and someone can express it by changing a hair or. Someone can express it by changing their gender to become a woman or man. Okay, we should, we should not judge these people mm -hmm. because they just want to express this the problem. Okay, the, or, or what's going they on inside. inside. There's, okay, whether it be a problem or a preference, but they are expressing. Thank you so much for ending with a new expression. After all uh, that's been said and done, <laughs> I think it's time for us to close up to uh, wrap up, wrap it up for today. Thank you for your opinions, your expressions, your courage in speaking. Yeah.